Well, film is taking over Red Rocks this summer. That's right. Denver Films Film on the Rocks is back for its 23rd season, kicking off June the 13th with Thor Ragnarok. Well, earlier I chatted with Denver Films new CEO, that's Kevin Smith, so you can plan your film schedule. Well, imagine a beautiful sunset watching a movie at Red Rocks. Let's go. Kevin is here with Denver Film. Kevin, good to see you. Great to see you, too. I'm excited about this. I was scrolling through my phone, literally saw that I could get tickets for the Sandlot at Red Rocks, and I was like, <gasps> I'm going. So tell me about this film on the rocks. So it's our 23rd year doing this up at Red Rocks. Uh, each summer we select a number of films, uh -huh. uh, cult classics and some new cult classics this year. Uh, we have a few bands perform before each show, but just a great way to come, whether you want to bring your family or have a date night, a wonderful way to get up to Red Rocks in the summer. Well, Red Rocks is one of those places that regardless of what you're doing, it is just breathtaking, but then you throw a movie in there, now you got yourself an award-winning date, I would say, right? That's or right. Or bring the family out whatever it is you want to do all right so what kind of films are we talking what's the lineup here so this year we'll be showing we'll be opening the season with Thor Ragnarok so really one of those films that I think kind of um, you know separated itself from the other Marvel films and was a lot more fun it's this bright amazing sort of cinematic adventure and yeah. up at Red Rocks is going to be incredible Insane. and the musical score for it fantastic it's just like all these iconic songs so it just fits right into you know the Red Rocks theme up there of uh, then we go into the Sandlot Woo! followed by the greatest showman um, and then we've got the Summer of Soul, which is the one I'm looking forward to the most this year. Yeah. Uh, and our last show of the summer will be the brand new Dune film. I love it. Well, that is a great selection right there. I mean, just with the Sandlot, you had me at Benny Rodriguez. <laughs> Woo! Do you remember him of, from the Sandlot? Of course, Benny the Jet. <laughs> Benny the Jet. That's right. OMG, my biggest crush from like back in the day. Not <laughs> now, not now, I promise. Okay, so what is it like to watch a movie in Red Rocks. Have you already kind of had the experience? Oh yeah. What is that like? I think it's incredible and it's one of the best ways to watch a film. And I think when you're sitting there and if the moon's rising up oh. and you know, it is just the most iconic backdrop. And last year, uh, after the COVID pandemic, we actually mm -hmm. did three uh, shows back in amphitheater and we brought in a giant LED screen. So that was the first time we'd ever done that. We'd always yeah. done traditional projecting up there, but the LED screen makes it that much brighter, that much more crisp. It is just such an amazing way to watch a film. Oh, I bet. Well, when does the series open? The series opens on Monday, June 13th. And how long have you guys been putting this together, Film on the Rocks? 23 years we've been working with Denver Arts and Venues uh, and Red Rocks Amphitheater to put this on and really to provide an opportunity uh, to the community to get to Red Rocks where they have a more accessible ticket price and a little bit easier to get up there than you know some of the other concerts. Of course well it is such a great idea all right I am so curious about this but how does the list of films come together how do you decide this film this film this film are the ones we're going to do. It's a tough process and we have yeah. a lot of internal conversations around which films we should show. This year in particular, one of the things that we wanted to do was to start to create some new cult classics. Okay. Especially over the last two years, we did almost 75 drive-ins. And so yeah. we showed all sorts of our, you know, kind of favorite top independent films over that time. And this was a great opportunity to sort of open it up put a few things in that are more musical, mm -hmm. and then really start to create some of those new experiences for people to create their own cult classics. Yeah, well, how long does the series last? It'll go until the middle of August, so starting in June to the middle of August this year. And what would you say is different this year from past seasons? Like, are you guys doing anything that's gonna be new to this particular season? One of the things that we're doing that's a little bit different is we've partnered with Youth on Record to oh, help nice. program the musical performances and some of the um, more cultural performances that we'll be doing. So we're looking at other forms of arts and culture to bring up to Red Rocks this year. Yeah. Um, and being able to also train some of the performers. because This is their first time getting to play at Red Rocks. And so we want to make sure that when they have this opportunity, they can maximize it for the artists. That's so important. And I think a lot of times it can be overwhelming. I mean, you're, oh, that's oh, a that's dream. Huge. This is the most iconic 
iconic music venue in the world. And so uh, yeah. we just want to make it the best opportunity we can. What a great opportunity for everyone involved. Kevin, thank you so much for being with us today. And I'll see you out there with the Sandlot. All right. Thanks for having <laughs> okay. me. Looking forward to it. Yes. All right, everyone. Of course, you can get more information. Just go online. They've got the website. And make sure to get your tickets before they run out because I'm telling you that this event is going to be definitely one you do not want to miss. All right, and we have the full summer lineup on our website. That's coloradoandco.com. Head to denverfilm.org for your tickets and other fun summer events.